Do you dream of barbecue ribs, succulent and delicious? I have the secret to mouth-wateringly tender ribs slathered in a sweet and sticky barbecue sauce. And guess what? I am gonna share it with you. So, we're gonna start off by making a wonderful tender broth. We're not. We're gonna make, we're gonna put them in the boiling water. Actually, we always have this problem when we do YouTube days. My, uh, my hob is not plugged in. And you think, you know, after all these videos we've done together that maybe we think of plugging in the hob, but here we are again. So just toll the line, please, Connor. We've got some cold water, it's coming up to the boil. And this is the secret. You have to get your lovely baby back ribs with some nice tender piece of meat and those bones in the inside. You need to make sure that that meat is gonna be really, really tender. So stick it in the pot to boil. And we're gonna stick with it in the pot a little bit of onion. We're gonna get in there with a garlic clove, we'll split that in half. Stick the lid on. This is now gonna cook for about an hour. I do have one that we prepared earlier, but before we get to that, I'm gonna make up that sweet and sticky barbecue sauce. So into a saucepan, hit it with some soy sauce. I've got some dark soy sauce, some Tabasco for some spice. We got some honey for that sweet stickiness. Some tomato ketchup. That goes in. And then we're gonna hit it with some... <laughs> Max is outside and he's currently clawing the door to get in. Come on in, Max, we're making ribs. Come on, boy, come on, boy. Come on, we're gonna make some ribs. We're gonna make some ribs, boy. Yes, we are. So, Max is in, we're gonna add some sugar. We've got some brown sugar going in here and then a little bit of dried English mustard. Get that straight on the hob and you're just gonna bubble this away until the sugar is dissolved and all the ingredients are mixed together. While this is bubbling away, I'm gonna grab two cloves of garlic and just grate them in. It's gonna add really great flavor. So get it in there. Okay, this has bubbled away. It's looking really, really sticky and gloopy. While my ribs are bubbling away, remember, I have some which I've prepared earlier. We have a big pot of boiled ribs. Just lay them flat if you can on the board. Get this out, oh, oh I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Stick with it though, that's how tender they are. And now, this is where it gets a little bit exciting. This is where you can get your Blue Peter on. If you don't know what Blue Peter is, it's an arts and crafts show from a very long time ago when I was a child. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So a bit of arts and crafts, get your painting brush. And we're gonna paint on that wonderful barbecue sauce. How good do they look? We're gonna finish them off in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes, just until they've got that really intense glaze over the top. And at this point, if you wanted to do them on the barbecue, this would be the time to do it. Now, while they're in the oven, we're gonna get on with a delicious coleslaw. Straight into a bowl, get your red cabbage in there. Look at that color. This is why I use red cabbage in my coleslaw. I just think it looks so vibrant. We're gonna get in there with three carrots. Get them grated up. Three carrots beautifully grated up and you have to watch your fingers just at the end. So that is the color you're left with. Beautiful orange, hits against that wonderful purple. So just a fine slice on your spring onion. And now just to bring it together, I'm gonna get in there with a bit of mustard except this isn't mustard, this is mayonnaise. So I'm getting in there with the mayonnaise. I've got about a teaspoon or more of whole grain mustard. Oh, I need some salt and pepper as well. Bit of sea salt, bit of black pepper. And now I can get tossing. And look at that. This is some vibrant and fresh coleslaw that's gonna go incredibly well with those ribs. So shove a little bit of coleslaw in there. Hey, that looks pretty good. Cup of coleslaw. My ribs are ready from the oven. They've had their time. This is what I'm talking about. Beautiful, tender ribs. Look at that sticky glaze over the top. Your knife just slips through them so easily. No worries. So just hack off a tiny bit. I do have to try some. That is totally delicious. Tender, tender meat, but it's the sauce that makes it. You've got that sweet and stickiness. If you want the recipes for these brilliant ribs and the coleslaw, check out the link in the box below. Of course, like this video. If you like lots of delicious barbecue recipes, you can check them out on the channel. And of course, subscribe and leave us a comment. See you soon, guys.